today I want to talk about something that has really affected my confidence uh, over my, la my late teens up until about six months ago. Uh, about eight years ago I had an accident. I managed to get smacked in the mouth with a golf ball. I was watching uh, a couple of friends play, one of them sliced it, just misdirected the ball and it just hit me square in the mouth. Completely accidental, but it couldn't have been a better shot even if we tried. Um, what happened was is that the top two front teeth here um, got chipped in half. Uh, my roots are pretty strong, so the, my teeth didn't come out as such, but they did get smashed in half. Um, and this bottom one here, as you can see, is still chipped. Um, I had a massive scar across my lip, and I had to live with that for, like I said, nearly eight years. Um, it happened a week before my prom, so again, couldn't have asked for better timing. I think it was just probably, honestly, one of the worst experiences of my life. People ask me all the time if it was painful, but I think it was just more the embarrassment factor of having to live with a broken mouth for, uh, for so long that affected me, really. As soon as it had happened, I ended up going straight to A&E to, uh, to get my lips stitched up and to find out exactly what needed to be done, whether there was any long-term damage to my nerves or anything like that. I was more concerned about how it looked, if I'm completely honest. Like I said, it was a week before my prom and I had just ruined everything in my eyes. As a teenage girl, you know, your prom is something that you really look forward to. And having a broken mouth was not something I had anticipated. Um, so I managed to get an appointment with the orthodontist who decided that I needed braces uh, to try and push the teeth back into position. Like I said, because my roots were so strong, the teeth hadn't been knocked out, but they had been moved within the bone um, and where they'd, they'd chipped. So I did get braces put on over the top, which kind of like hid the chip for a while. You couldn't really see it because when you looked into the mouth, all you focused on was the metal of the braces and that wasn't really such a big deal. So I had those for about two years. Um, and I figured as soon as I had those braces taken off that I'd be able to get the proper caps put on my teeth. But according to the orthodontist, when I went back, because I was over 18, I would have had to pay for them. And obviously I was just heading into uni. Um, I still had braces on in my first term of uni, which wasn't the most fun of experiences. But again, it was still hiding the chip, so it kind of helped a little bit with the, my confidence levels because it was something I could hide behind. I could you know, just pretend that it was just normal braces like anybody else had. Uh, I got to the point where every time I spoke or I laughed, I was literally just putting my hands on my nose like this, just kind of trying to hide my mouth whenever my mouth was open because I was really embarrassed and really uncomfortable with it. But as I said, because the orthodontist told me I was over 18, I wouldn't be able to get it done on the NHS. I would have to pay for it because it was a cosmetic treatment. Um, so that was the age of 18, I just had no way of affording it. Um, I was basically just told to go away and come back when I could, which really sucked for me. Um, but that's what I did, and I had to live with it. But once the braces were taken off, it was a really big shock to me. It was so obvious, I felt so uncomfortable. I never smiled in photos, I kept my mouth shut. As I said, I was touching my nose all the time, just trying to make sure that nobody looked at my mouth. It was just a horrible experience. Just, I don't think anyone that has never had issues like that with their teeth would understand. So I decided to start saving and I went to my bank and I got an, an overdraft increased on my account once I'd finished uni and I was working and knew I could start to afford to pay it back and things. Um, and I decided that I was going to go private and get my teeth done properly. So what I did was I went and I got them checked out. I was told that I would need two veneers on the top two teeth, um, which meant, meant that they had to be filed down, which was not a pleasant experience. It wasn't the worst thing in the world. And I got them completely whitened, my, my whole mouth whitened. And um, they said that they could fix the chip in the bottom, but I really, really not fussed by it. Like once my mouth's closed, you can't really see it. And it's something that's there. It's, it's part of who I am now. And 
although I was really uncomfortable with the top of my mouth being broken, it's just a little something that's unique to me and I really didn't want to change that, so I've left that as it is. Um, honestly, out of all the whole experience, I think the whitening part was the most painful. Even being hit with the golf ball wasn't as painful as getting my teeth whitened. And I don't know if that means I'm a complete wimp or whether it's because I had nerves exposed or what. But honestly, sitting in that chair, having them whitened, I literally had tears pouring down my face. I was mortified because I went in and I had my teeth shaved into shape uh, and they were like filed down to like tiny little points and it didn't affect me in any way near as bad as getting them whitened. So it was quite embarrassing to say the least, but it was so, so worth it. Um, I mean, I can now smile comfortably, I can sit and talk on camera without trying to hide my mouth all the time and in no way is my smile perfect but in comparison to what it was I am so comfortable with with what's happened and honestly I wouldn't change it for the world I think it was one of the best experiences of my life just going and getting it all completed and just being able to feel comfortable with who I am again so these people that say, oh, it's a cosmetic procedure, you know, it didn't need to be done, like, you should just got over it, you should have lived with it, there's no need for cosmetics. I personally disagree. I think that I didn't go out and get a cosmetic procedure done to please anybody else. I didn't do it because I wanted to look amazing, I wanted to look perfect. I just wanted to get that little bit of confidence back that I had before I decided to mess up my face. And like I said, honestly, it was one of the best decisions I've ever made. And I would advise anyone feeling that uncomfortable to seriously look into it.